happy rails to you. Welcome back, my friends. Happy rails to you. It's good to see you again. Thanks for watching this channel and the videos. Sometimes they go real fast and sometimes they're slow. Happy rails to you. Glad you're watching. Hi guys, welcome back. It's G-Man. My World 67. Uh, I'm sitting here at my bench. I just got done working on this uh, B&O. Uh, this K-Line B&O S2 switcher. Um, as you saw in the first or last video on this uh, particular engine, when I first revealed it, um, you saw that it had been uh, gotten out, cleaned it fixed it so it didn't run, um, but it was missing a coupler. Well, I made the coupler, and I put a coupler on it, and I just wanted to share the coupler with you, and I meant to share it with you actually before I got it mounted, but here it is. This is actually a modified Marx coupler. I took this Marx coupler, and uh, it's a standard Marx knuckle coupler, non-working and uh, I rebuilt this coupler I pulled this knuckle right here out just a little bit and then this flange or thumb part of the coupler uh, I, I widened out a little bit I I spread it out so that it would hook up uh, easier with the uh, Lionel couplers. It's a real simple process. And you can actually um, reshape this part of the coupler with some super hot water. Just let it run over that for a few minutes and just bend it out just a little bit, get you a a Lionel coupler so that you can fit it down in there and you might have to trim just a little bit off of this inner part right here the splange back like fingers right there you might just trim just a little bit off of that but the key is to make this just a little wider from here to here and it needs to be deeper in order to get it a little deeper you've got to expand your thumb or your flange And they work great. Let me show you. I also wanted to show you this Prince Albert car. I've had it sitting on my desk for several months now. Um, this uh, is a Lionel from 19... I bought this back in... Nineteen seventy-six. That's the year my dad died, and I got it to remind me of my dad. And I've never ran it. I've never operated it. Matter of fact, it's been in a box for years. Never had it out on the shelf. Uh, I paid fourteen fifty, according to the tag that's still on it for it. Uh, uh, actually, it was fourteen fifty five, and I got it on sale for nine eighty eight. So I did good. I think they're going for quite a bit more than that now. But 
uh, I wanted to use this car to show you how this coupler fits together. Just like that. Perfect fit. No problems. It's not too tight. Now, I extended the drawbar on this Mark coupler a little bit. Uh, I actually shortened it from what it was about maybe a half an inch. It was actually about the length of this knuckle coupler uh, longer, and so I shortened it. But I wanted a, long, a little longer draw bar, uh, so if I was pulling from the rear of the engine, uh, I'd have a little more. I know a shorter draw bar is supposed to give you more power, more pull, but I like the little longer draw bar. It, especially where you've got a lot of curves. That way you don't lose as much traction. <clears throat> One of these days, I'll probably modify these so that they've actually got windows here and here. I'll probably do it first with an old older Marx engine that's uh, that I an old back basket case that I saved or restored. I like to run my engines this direction. It's forward instead of running them in reverse. But these cabs were actually uh, made on these engines to run these. Uh, for the most part, in reverse. Now, there's no front light on here. There is a, uh, you can see a lens, but it does not light up. I might eventually put a light in it, and I might eventually put a light in the Marks ones because they don't light up either. This Prince Albert car uh, is a Lionel. It's uh, old gauge. It's almost old scale. Big cars. That's why I, I another reason why I never run it. But I just got it, like I said, to remind me of him. For most of my life, even up through uh, my early uh, adulthood, um, When I was in my 20s, when my pa father passed away, he was still smoking Prince Albert, still rolling his own cigarettes. And it was amazing to see him roll a cigarette because he could actually do it one-handedly. He taught me how to roll. When he found out I was smoking, he told me that it'd be cheaper for me to buy tobacco, and it was. So for a while, I smoked Prince Albert. Of course, I quit smoking uh, years ago, not too long after his passing, about five years after his passing. But these cars are just beautiful. The, the uh, artwork on them is just really great. It's exact as to the actual Prince Albert cans. And the color is great. So that's another Lionel car that I just really uh, do like. And that's because of the artwork and uh, the significance of it to me in my life. 
So anyhow, I thought I'd just share that with you. We're going to take this 2310 B&O S2 switcher out on the layout and let you watch it run. All right, so here we are out in the layout. We got Caboose came off. Still not on right. There we go. Now what's wrong? Boy, we got car problems here. Hold on. Okay, we got the car the wheels back on. And something happened. Sound like we ran into something this time around. And we did. We had a collision with a army vehicle. There, okay, I think we got it back on track. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what had happened was the switch had moved. That is an electric switch over there. And uh, I don't have it hooked up right now, but at some point in time, It decided to move. So anyway, out the side of a few cars having came off in the beginning. As you can see, this engine runs most excellent. And actually, once I had Pour into it, open the case up, and, and saw what was actually going on with it. Uh, this engine was almost like new, hadn't been run that much at all. Wouldn't know exactly how many hours it had on it, but from judging from the wheels. And what where I did see, I wouldn't say this engine had over maybe 20, 30 hours on it. If that many. So actually it was a really good find, a really good buy. And I was glad to have it. car off Oh 
But that's the nice thing about the uh, newer model trains. They run quieter. Um, they're a lot smoother. And they put some great pulling power in them. This is dual motor. And I just love K line. Gonna let that go around again and we're gonna stop it. Okay. I want to show you this 490. 490 is not known for their pulling power. So we're going to see what we what we got going on this particular engine. Put it around here on a straight. That's all Lionel cars in a Lionel tender. So that's a lot of weight. For 490. And as you can see, it just ran off and left everything else. I'm going to adjust this coupler. Well, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I had promised you I was going to show you the uh, B&O and the 490 running on the layout when I got them operable uh, and got the layout operable where it would run. I'm going to have to work on that curve right there a little more that the B&O was on. The cars have a tendency to once in a while come off on that curve.
but there you have it guys the B&O and the March 490 running almost flawlessly on the track well as I say if you enjoy working on your trains customizing them, rebuilding them, refurbishing them whatever it is that you enjoy doing Working on your layout. You enjoy that half as much as I do. Then you should have happy ribs. This is you, man. Bye-bye for now.